Hello world, my name is Professor Kweku Achampon and I'm CEO at the World Soccer Institute. Our website address is worldsoccerinstitute.com and CEO at EVMI, Earned Value Management Institute. And our website address is evmi.com. And we are based in the United States. And I'm also author of EVM Bulk, Earned Value Management Body of Knowledge, which contains 60 bodies of knowledge, which will allow a project manager and his project or her project management team to deliver their projects on time, on track, within budget, and of top quality. I'm also a World Soccer Trends Analyst and a United States Soccer Federation Certified Coach. And I'm boldly predicting that Ghana will win the 2014 FIFA World Cup. In May of 2006, in Geneva, Switzerland, I predicted that Italy will win the 2006 World Cup. In 2010, in Washington, D.C., I predicted that Spain will win the 2010 World Cup. Remember that Spain lost 0-1 to Switzerland in the opening game of that World Cup. And every soccer pundit ruled Spain out of the competition, and the rest is history. To predict Ghana's 2014 World Cup win, I have used many economic models risk and earn value management forecast models in my analysis. I've also examined and studied all the 32 nations participating in the World Cup using many um, of my um, models and also I've used SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And I've determined that Ghana will emerge the winner of the 2014 World Cup. Okay, a recent survey of 171 economists from 139 companies conducted by Bloomberg News in the United States have all given the winner of the 2014 FIFA World Cup to Brazil. These economists based their findings and analysis on the following. Climate favorability, home crowd advantage, the current football successes of Brazil. Goldman Sachs, an investment banking powerhouse in the United States has also predicted that Brazil will win the 2014 World Cup. I respectfully beg to differ. World Cup competitions are tough, grueling, and mentally challenging. World Cup competitions are generally won by teams with the strongest arsenal of midfielders. We saw that in Italy's 2006 squad and also we saw that in Spain's 2010 squad. At this year's 2014 FIFA World Cup, out of the 32 teams represented, Ghana squad has the most talented and strongest midfielders in the world. They are 11 in number. Michael Essien, aka or also known as the Bison, Kevin Prince Watin, Andre Ayu, son of soccer legend Abedi Pele of Ghana, Kojo Asamoa, Imara Ajman Badu, Afriye Akwa, Mubarak Wakaso, Christian Atu, Rabiu Mohamed, Albert Adoma and Soli Montari. I think, firstly, I think Ghana's calm and soft spoken coach, Dr. Kwesi Apia, is a genius. To have selected and assembled such many top and highly talented midfielders in a single World Cup. Dr. Kwesi Apia is also assisted by a very talented and capable assistant coach in the name of Mr. Maxwell Kunedu. Secondly, in World Cup competitions, as the stakes become higher and you go down the stretch, you need a very strong and vibrant midfield that possesses power, accuracy, sheer strength, and precision. You need midfielders that can attack, defend, and also unleash thunderous goals from behind. This is what Ghana has. Some of Ghana's midfielders have tasted club championship success and have also played in the 2009 Under-20 FIFA World Cup of which Ghana won. Thirdly, Ghana has two hidden gems, Christian Atsu and Jordan Ayu, who is also a son of Abedi Pele, the legendary soccer playmaker of Ghana. Jordan Ayu recently unleashed three goals at the just ended Ghana friendly between South Korea and Ghana in Miami. And I think he will be the biggest discovery of this 2014 FIFA World Cup competition. Fourthly, Asama Jam, Ghana's current multiversatile and talismanic captain who plies his trade in the UAE, 
will spearhead Ghana's team to ultimate success. The bitter loss to Uruguay in 2010's World Cup is what probably keeps him and all those players who were in South Africa in the 2010 World Cup awake at night. And the constant reminder of what could have been is enough to give this Ghana Black Stars squad the relentless, the relentless drive, the strong mental focus, the passion and hunger to go beyond the frontiers, to defy all odds, and to unleash everything they have and drop everything on the field to become the first African football or soccer team that ever won a World Cup. Remember, all the greats failed at one point in time. I believe the Ghana Black Stars have learned from the past and they will make history so that when we all look back, we'll be left wondering and pondering. So world, watch out for the Ghana Black Stars. I believe that just as I predicted Spain's win in 2010 and Italy's win in 2006, in 2006 such will Ghana's win in 2014 come to pass. I dedicate this video to my late mother, Madame Agatha Hopokuya, founder and CEO of Milkmaid Ghana Limited, who left us last year in November of 2013. She was a staunch Black Stars fan and supporter. I hope she'll be smiling when the Ghana Black Stars make history. So Ghana Black Stars, win this for the world, win this for Africa, and win this for all those who dare to dream and make the impossible possible. Ghana Black Stars, go for the ultimate gold. You can do it. You can do it, Ghana Black Stars. You can do it. Italy did it in 2006. Spain did it in, in 2010. You're going to do it in 2014. If you believe, you will achieve. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. So go and make the world proud. Go and unleash all your God-given football talents your energy, your drive, your passion, and get the job done. The world is waiting. The world is waiting. So this year, again, I give the 2014 World Cup to Ghana. And Ghana Black Stars, remember to give all glory to God and make Him first in everything you do. Because without Him, all things are impossible. Thank you. God bless you, and may God bless everybody. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed watching and listening to my video. Thank you again. Peace.